Hi, this is Pavel with a Java exercise from the book uh, Java Software Solutions. This is uh, chapter 5, exercise 6, and we, we are going to be creating a flight class and implement flight class. And we will declare an instance of airline name, flight number, flight origin, and destination. We are supposed to create a constructor that initializes all the instances and the getters and setters for each instance. And we will, of course, test the class using a flight test drive. So this is just a basic uh, OOP. So um, let's create uh, some classes. And how about we create a class? Uh, I'll create class flight test. This is going to be our test class. And it will contain the uh, main method because we need to have that in order to test it. Uh, Right, so finish. Yeah, I, I named the class uh, the package flight class with capital F, and it keeps telling me now that it's discouraged that it, the uh, it should be a lowercase f. Oh well, nothing matter. Uh, let's just concentrate on this. Uh, and the last and the second class will be our flight. And that's that's really all. That's what they asking. Yeah, just a flight class and a flight test drive. Okay, so uh, we need uh, uh, those private uh, instances. So it's going to be <coughs> a string airline. Uh, that's going to be a string uh, flight number. And it is a string because, you know, sometimes the flight number could be like AS105 or whatever, you know, so it's a string. It's not an integer plus. We are not going to be performing any mathematical operations with that we don't need an integer so it's gonna be a string uh, string uh, I believe it was origin that's basically the where we're coming from and we also of course need a string of the destination uh, so I'll just name it destination all right so our constructor is next and that's going to be fairly straightforward it's going to be constructor of flight and it will take um, all these uh, parameters. So it's going to be a string of airline, string uh, of the flight number, uh, string of the origin, and it will also take the string of the destination all right, so uh, well, you know what? Let me make this a little bigger for you, so you can see the whole thing. Okay, and now we are in initializing the uh, our private instances. So our airline will equal to whatever the user will supply as an airline. Uh, our flight number uh, number will equal the flight number argument and of course our origin will equal the origin argument origin let me spell that and uh, we need the destination and that's that's really all now we have it initialized but uh, we're supposed to you you know we're not gonna be using private variables directly we are going to be using the getters and setters to access those so I'll do getters first, and it's going to be a public string get airline, and I'll do it on, all in one line. It will simply return uh, a private instance of airline. So this is what we are going to be using. You know, this this public getter we are going to be using to get the the current value of the airline, whatever is stored in the private variable we will access through the getter and we will do the same of course for all uh, all of them as well so uh, we will do string and I'll call this one get flight number and it will return the flight number and let's do the original destination I mean the original 
of, of the flight. So get origin and return the origin. And finally, uh, it's the get destination. And it will, of course, return the destination. Okay, so uh, I forgot I over here. And actually, I spelled it wrong right at the beginning. So, origin. Okay, so we, that's the getters to access those uh, variables. Now we need setters to set the value to these variables if we decided to. Now, in this exercise, it won't be the, the values are decided. Uh, X, uh, assigned directly through the constructor, but we could be using the setters later if we, uh, you know, expanded the program to set those values uh, in the runtime. So um, the setters are just like the getters. So it's going to be, except it's, they're not going to be returning anything. Of course, they are going to be just setting values. So it's gonna be set airline, and we need to provide a string of the airline all right so uh, and again I'll do it all in one line uh, this will do uh, airline uh, private instance will be set to whatever argument we will pass to this uh, setter so our airline will equal to airline all right, so um, let's do the rest of them since they want, want us to do those. Uh, set flight number, and again, it expects string of the flight number. Now I'm, I'm naming these the same like, uh, you know, uh, what we are passing, like airline, for example, but this is a different variable. This variable is not this. I could just call it A or F or whatever, you know, it doesn't really matter. These are not the same. These are passed only once when the object is created these setters like i said it they would be used uh, when the program runs and we would be setting the values uh, after the object is already created uh, oh shut up cat jeez she just likes me always comes over when i program anyway so uh what do we have here flight number so our flight number will equal to the argument of flight number except this is not valid I named this one flight number because these are the same like I said these are the private instances these and these are being and we are setting them with the argument that is passed to the uh, to this uh, getter it's basically a, a function uh, I forgot B, so now it should be correct. And we got public void for the set uh, origin. Once again, it expects string. And we will set our origin to the argument. And lastly, we will do the set destination and it's going to be a string as an argument and we will set our destination to the argument okay so uh, that's all our getters and setters and i also do the uh, to string method to uh, you know like to kind of output the generic output for the class so uh, string to string and I will go and do uh, simply return something like uh, flight information that would be like the header then a new line and I would start airline and here we would pass our airline and we would pass the get airline we could pass the private variable directly but like I said I prefer to just use the getters to get to the value even within the class itself it, it's not necessary like a, you can use the private variables within the class but uh, yeah since we have the getters I'll just do them I'll just use them this way 
So that's our airline. Uh, what's next? The flight number would be the next. Plus, again, on a new line, I will do flight number. And it will, we will pass the get uh, flight number. All right. And plus, and we go on the new line so you can read that. That's going to be the original uh, origin of the flight. So origin. And again, we will simply pass the get origin. Uh, what's the last one? Oh, the destination, of course. So let's do that. And for the new line. Uh, and uh, it will say destination. Get destin. Okay, so uh, well, this get origin. Did I misspell something? Uh, I didn't misspell it here actually. <laughs> I, I I forgot I over here too. Origin. That's better. Okay, so this is our two string method that will simply output the uh, airline flight number, origin, and destination of the flight. And uh, now we can go to our to test it. You know to create few objects. So I will create a flight object of uh, let's say flight one flight two and flight three. These are my three objects. And uh, yeah, I'm going to create a flight one as uh, it will simply create new flight and we will pass uh, the information into the constructor. So I will pass the first thing is the airline, airline name. So I will call Powell's Airlines. How's that? Maybe one day. And uh, my flight number would be PA100. And I will fly from, let's say, Slovakia. And, and I will fly to the United States of America. There. OK, so flight 2. And it will be equal the new flight and we will pass in the different information and this one could be Peters Airlines and Peters would be 001 uh, PE because he's Peter and uh, he will fly the opposite way he will fly from the United States and he will fly to Slovakia and finally, uh, flight three equals new flight, and this will be no name airlines, and it will be an O zero zero zero. That's the flight number, and let's say they fly from uh, Pennsylvania all the way to I don't know Florida going for a vacation okay so now we created the objects uh, with some past the flight information already into our constructor it's expecting the airline flight number origin and destination and we will assign those into our private instances and we will access those instances using the get and set but in this exercise we already have the uh, two string method so we can simply output all the information uh, directly. So system that out that print line, and we can directly output the flight one object, and that will give us all the information uh, as it is uh, formatted into the in the two string method of the flight class over here. And we can do the same for the other two print line uh, flight two and send that out that print line 
light three. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is a. Uh, if you run it, we should be getting uh, all the information. So exhaust is disabled. Okay, and let me pull this up. Okay, so we have flight information. That's the header, and then we have airline Pavos Airlines of my flight number, origin, and destination. After that, we have our uh, second airline, and which is Peter's airline, number and origin and destination. And finally, the third airline, which is the no-name airline, flight number, origin, and destination. Now, we could simply go and uh, to, to get the use of the getters and setters, we can simply go and maybe change something over here. So I will set flight, uh, oops, uh, not flight, flight. Let's say for the object one, for my flight, I will set the uh, set the flight number to something else. Over here, the flight number is PA100. But, but I may change it to PA111. Well, it's a string, so it has to be in quotes. So now, when I when I output the system that uh, out that print line, the flight one, it will now have the uh, flight number set to PA one one one. So if I run it now, over here it has the original PA one zero zero, but over here. We set it to PA111 and output it again, and it has a new value now. And uh, we can also uh, do the same with you know for all the other flights, and we can use the getters to access directly uh, just the just specific information. So, for example, over here, I can do system printout flight one that uh, get the uh, flight number. Okay, so now instead of printing the, all the information, it will only output the flight number. So you can see over here, we have all the information with the original uh, flight number. This is our last flight, the, the flight three. And over here, it's simply output PA111 because all, all we're asking to, is to print the flight number and it will print the flight number that is stored into our private variable uh, flight number for this for this particular object, for the flight one object. And the uh, uh, over here, since we reset it, we set the value manually to PA111, that is the value that is being stored there. This value has been overridden. All right, so... Uh, I hope it makes sense, and uh, yeah, I, it was uh, you know this is just the basics of uh, you know creating objects, so uh, shouldn't be too difficult. Anyway, I hope it was helpful. I'll see you next time. Take care.